Today we are going to be looking at subtracting using compensation. So this is very similar to um, one of the subtraction strategies we talked about last week um, in that we are talking about same differences. So we need to remember whatever I do to one number I must, must, must do to the other number so the difference stays the same. So if you remember, the difference is the answer to our subtraction problems. Um, so I need to make a new problem that has the difference of our two numbers the same as the difference um, between the two numbers of our original problem. And I do that by remembering whatever I do to one number, I must do to the other number. That is compensation, finding same differences. So the first problem we're going to look at today is 300 minus 159. If I were solving this vertically um, or using a place value chart, I would need to double debundle here because I have a zero in the tens place and a zero in the ones place. I don't wanna do that, that's a lot of work. So I'm going to use my tapes and um, manipulate my numbers a little bit. So I am going to be looking at my long one is the number 300. And that's the whole big tape, so both parts here. So that's why I did it, or I wrote it down using a carrot up here instead of filling it in. Um, because I'm not adding on to it this time, I'm going to be taking away. And my smaller tape down here is my second number, 159. And I'm going to be doing the same thing here with a carrot um, because I'm not adding on this time. When we did tape diagrams um, before, when we were doing adding strategies, we added um, a number on. This time we're going to be taking away. Um, when we use compensation for these numbers, uh, it's because of the double debundling. It's because of the two zeros here. Zero in the tens place and zero in the ones place. All I need to do, my only job, is to get these to be something other than zeros. Um, and to be on the safe side to make sure that I can always subtract, like this nine here, I want them to be nines. That's the easiest um, because nine is the biggest number um, that's only one digit. So in order to change these into nines, I'm just gonna subtract one. Take away one little guy. So 300 minus one, I'm just gonna count down. 300, 299. So that's um, the difference here. 300 minus one is 299. And back to our little model here, whatever I do to one number, I must do to the other. If I am subtracting one from my 300, I also need to subtract one from my 159. So again, I'm just going to count down 159, 158. And then these two um, bits of our tape are what make our new subtraction problem. So I now have 299 minus 158 um, and this is pretty easy to solve. I'm going to write it vertically up and down and go ahead and solve that. So 299 minus 158 starting with my ones place over here, 9 minus 8, 1, 9 minus 5, 4, 2 minus 1, 1. Um, so I figured out that 299 minus 158 is 141. Um, and because we used compensation or uh, same differences, I also know that 300 minus 159 equals 141. And to really wrap that up, I'm going to show it um, in this kind of method using both number sentences here. So 300 minus 159 is the same as or equals 299 minus 150. 
28 using same differences because whatever I did to one number, I did to the other number. And then I solved that problem and got 141. So this right here is the answer we are looking for. 300 minus 159 equals 299 minus 158 equals 141. Um, I have two more examples of this. Here, our first one, 600 minus 238. Um, so again, I'm go going to put my first number, my 600 in the long box, uh, but I'm going to write it using a carrot. And then my smaller number, my second number, 238, goes in my shorter box carrot 238 um and then just like before i want these zeros to be nines i want them to be the biggest uh, number that they can be so i'm just going to take away one minus one 600 minus one when i'm counting down 600 599 whatever i do to one number i must do to the other so minus one 238 minus 1, I'm just going to count down, 238, 237. So that's my new problem, 599 minus 237. I'm going to write that over here vertically. And go ahead and solve. So I'm um, looking at our ones place first, 9 minus 7 is 2. 9 minus 3 is 6, 5 minus 2 is 3. So 600 minus 238 equals or is the same as the number sentence 599 minus 237, which equals 362. Perfect. We did a great job. One more to go before you get to try these on your own. Our last problem for the video is 200 minus 147. I'm going to go ahead and take that whole number, the big one, and fill in my longer tape. 200. And my second and smaller number, 147, is going to fill in the second tape here, the smaller tape. And I want these zeros to be nines, to be the biggest possible number. I'm just gonna take away one of them, just one. So 200, counting down, it, one is 200, 199. Whatever I do to one number, I must do to the other, minus one. 147, count down 1, 147, 146. Ta-da, I have my new math problem. Go ahead and write that vertically, 199 minus 146, and solve. My ones place, 9 minus 6 is 3. My tens place, 9 minus 4 is five and then my hundreds place one minus one zero not a thing so we figured out that 200 minus 147 equals is the same as 199 minus 146 using our same differences our compensation we figured this out and we know that that equals 50 three. So um, here is your overview of this new strategy using our tape diagrams and compensation or same differences. It's very similar to what one of the um, days that we talked about last week. And always remember, whatever I do to one number, I must do to the other number. 
go ahead and solve the problems in your problem set for today. And don't forget to take a picture and send them to me. I can't wait to see all the great work you do. Um, show your work, draw your tapes. I can't wait to see it. All right, good job.